Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 95. This is Microsoft's latest version of Windows that's packing a number of new features and enhancements over the last version of Windows, which was Windows 3.11. In fact, there's so much new in this version of Windows, I'm not gonna be able to go through all of it. There's things such as 32-bit application support, which is laying the foundation for much more complex and powerful programs in the future, and a bunch of other things under the hood. So right now we're just gonna take a look at some of the new features on the surface which most users will sort of take advantage of uh, and uh, diving straight in as you can see there's an entire new desktop experience down at the bottom left here there's a new button called start and this is where you go to do pretty much anything on your computer now so it's a small menu and as you can see I can get access to my programs documents settings I can find things on my computer I can look for help and I can also use the run command as well as shut down my computer the start menu gives me pretty much everything on my PC as I said so I can go in here and I can launch paint which is also uh, been updated in this version of Windows and as you can see down here there's also a new feature called the taskbar and what this does is houses all of your open applications for easy multitasking so as you can see I have paint open here and that's now listed down in the taskbar and if I open something else so we can open let's open uh, the MS DOS prompt you can see that's now running there as well so the MS DOS is still here I can still run my 16-bit applications if I want to uh, which is really quite nice and with the taskbar here, I can now switch between uh, my open programs and I can open a third one if I really want to. So let's open up um, Outlook, which I believe is somewhere in here. Outlook Express, there we go. And now that's running in the um, taskbar as well. And I can switch between all three of these. And of course, you can open as many as your PC can handle and um, it should run just fine. So we can see there's another program running there, which looks really quite nice. Of course, the taskbar is customizable. So if we come down to here and right click and select properties, you'll see that I can change things such as making it so it's always on top, auto hide, show small icons. So if you're somebody who doesn't like moving their mouse very far, you can make it so the menu takes up less space on the screen. Uh, and of course, you can enable or disable the clock, which is on the far right there, which tells you the time. If I select this here, you'll see that it disappears or I can bring it back like you would expect. We can also customize the start menu as well, which is very nice indeed. So if we go back to start here, and take a look at the start menu you can see in programs here this is where all of our installed programs are now no longer do I have to go to the program manager uh, that's been replaced by Windows Explorer and that allows me to sort of navigate throughout the entire system uh, of all the files and programs I have installed so as you can see here I have all of this and I can go into my documents I can go I can back out of there and I can go into my program files now you may have also noticed that windows also have new controls if you open up a window here you can see that there's a minimize maximize and close button which is different from windows 3.11 uh, this is a lot more intuitive so the middle button here makes your program full screen uh, the one on the left minimizes it to the new taskbar and of course the one on the far right simply closes the program outright which is handy also known in this version of Windows is the recycling bin. No longer will deleting your files actually delete them straight away. So if I open up the Windows Explorer here and create a new file in my documents, um, let's see, let's create a text document and say test. Uh, if I delete that file, no longer will it be deleted straight away. It will simply move it to the recycling bin instead. And that moves it from my documents here, so it's no longer present. But if I accidentally deleted that file that I didn't mean to delete, no longer is it gone forever. I can jump into the recycling bin here and I can either restore it if I need to, or I can completely delete it outright. So if I right click on the recycling bin here, I can empty the recycling bin and that will delete everything in the recycling bin. So this is a great method for those of you who may accidentally delete things every now and then. With this, you can just jump into the recycling bin and restore your files safely. So there you have it guys, that's a very quick look at some of the new changes and features introduced with Windows 95. This version will be launching on August 24th, 1995 uh, for around $110 as an upgrade or $210 uh, for a full license. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.